Welcome back coding fans. We are on It Takes Two here in our initialization module. Um, this one, we kind of kind of have to figure all this stuff out, um, but it looks like our expert is gonna have to walk around turning up and down locks while our character goes across and collects a gem and toggles a switch. Uh, so let's just make sure that that's what it is. So lowercase expert equal capital expert parentheses and then character equals capital character parentheses. We'll go ahead and launch that. Um, we're going to see that our expert is right here on the bottom facing forward and our character is going to be moving forward. And there's lots and lots of different ways to settle this um, problem. But let's go ahead and take a look at the way that I think about it. Now, what I first have to do is figure out whether I'm gonna go left or right first. And that's irrelevant, but I think I'm gonna go left first because the purple lock over here at the bottom is gonna control that first platform. Um, and it might have to go down two, so we'll take a look at that. Um, and then the green lock will turn that up so that our character can go all the way across. For ease of coding, I'm gonna write some functions. Um, and mainly it's because of these corners. I'm gonna have to run these corners one, two, three times. Um, so let's go ahead and look at that. If I'm looking from where I'm standing, our character is gonna move three, one, two, three, and then turn right and then move two. So I could do a move three and a move two, and run that corner, but then when they get here, it's not repeatable because it's only two here. Um, so my most repeatable functions are going to be first uh, for the expert to move to. So I'm just gonna call this one move with the number two, and it's just gonna be, we can use a for loop or just code it out. We'll go expert dot move forward twice. Hit return, do it again, lowercase expert dot move forward all right so there's my move too and i like this one so that i can put this in my next function which i'm going to call corner and what that's going to be is we're going to nest our move to function and then have our lowercase expert dot turn right and then move to again and we don't have to put expert.move2 because in our move to function, it already pertains to expert. So we've got that one. And I think those two functions are all I'm going to use for this one. So let's go ahead and start coding to see if what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and have my expert turn the locks up and down, and then I'll just code the character uh, so that he can do everything at once. We could do it one by one, but I think it's easier for me to do it this way. So I'm gonna need my expert to get set up. So my expert needs to dot turn left. Okay, and that would mean there's still three away. So in order to get our expert to a place where they can run the corner function or where we can run the corner function, uh, we're gonna need our expert to move forward once. And then from there, they can run corner. So let's go ahead and run that to make sure that my counting is correct. All right, we'll speed this up a little bit. Move forward one, then move two, turn right, move two. Okay, now we've got to turn in order for us to turn that lock down. So we're gonna say expert dot turn left and then expert dot turn lock down. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this again to make sure that this purple platform goes down enough. It looks like it's pretty high, so it's probably gonna need to be turned down one more time. And that's right, it needs to be one more time. Expert dot turn lock down. Uh, I got the wrong save, turn lock down. So that solves that problem. That first purple platform will be there. So now let's get our expert to the other side. So we're gonna say lowercase expert dot 
turn right, and then they can corner again. And if we run that, that'll put our character two away from the corner. So believe it or not, we can hit move two and then corner again. And if I counted right, our expert will end up directly in front of the green block. So we turn this lock down twice, corner, move two, corner, right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste my expert turn left and expert turn lock down. We'll copy that and we'll paste this right here. And I'm kind of breaking it up um, this way uh, because turn left, move, turn left, move forward, and corner gets them to the lock. The turn left, turn lock down twice, turn right finishes that lock part. Corner, move to corner gets them to the um, to the green lock and turn left and this green one needs to go up. So I'm gonna put turn lock up. And I've got those spaces in my code so that I could, so I'd break it up into the, the different sections, getting them to the lock, fixing the lock, getting them to the next lock, and then solving the lock. All right, so now we've got a quick path. Now we could run a while loop and I'll show you that after we're done here. Um, but in all honesty, it's going to take less time to have our lowercase character just do stuff. Now, once again, I can't go move to because that tells the expert what to do. I'm just going to go character dot move forward. Return character dot move forward. Lowercase character dot move forward. and then lowercase character dot collect gem. That gets the gem, and then I'm gonna copy those three lines of code right there. Uh, right here, there you go. Move forward, move forward, collect gem. We're gonna copy that. And I can just hit collect gem and change that to turn, or excuse me, to toggle switch. About to say turn lock up. Toggle switch. And that should finish it for us. Um, lots of spaces, kind of, you know, just one at a time. Uh, like I said, once we get this check mark, we're done. But if you want to see what the while loop looks like, um, we can go ahead and do that. So we've got that. Um, and that solves it. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the character stuff and uh, I'll roll the while loop. So we'll say while, and then our character needs to be not blocked. So to do that, we're gonna say not, lowercase character dot is blocked. So we'll get them to the end. Uh, we're gonna get our, have our lowercase character dot move forward. And then we'll just run the if statement. Um, and we'll say, okay, if character dot is on gem, character dot collect gem, and then else if character dot is on close switch. character dot toggle switch all right and that's it that's a lot of button mashing um, if my character was going to do any more than move four spaces and collect a gym and toggle a switch um, I would definitely go with this while loop route because um, that would be that would be a lot more coding if it was any more than that um, but it was just easier to code it the other way. Um, either both of them get the job done. Uh, we've got functions. We got all sorts of good stuff. Good problem solving in here, um, and that's the way it goes. So we'll see you on the next one, which is parameters, which should be more fun, um, and it'll help us uh, 
manipulate our code even better. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.